floor mood today. I just really wanted to sit on the floor. Hope y'all having a great day. I'm having a good day. I'm in a great mood right now. It's time to film a video. Bye, la, la, why is this hard? Look, ready? Watch my spin. Can I do a double spin? Ready? <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have something to tell you. I messed up a little bit. I wasn't honest with you and I wanna be honest with you now. <laughs> so back in the middle of August, August 17th to be exact, I started the 75 day hard challenge and super excited about it. I made a whole video on it during the first week which I will tag up here. I really liked the challenge. I was doing well, I was on a roll, I was super motivated and then life happened. I got added to an additional project at work, which is super exciting. It was a really good opportunity, but I had a lot of stuff to do. And because of that, I wasn't able to complete my task for the 75 day hard. And I failed. And then I never talked about it. And I feel like when you start something and you end up failing, you never wanna talk about it. You only wanna show when you succeed or you do it right and I feel like it's important to share those failures. I ended up in total lasting about three weeks. I ended, I still have my little notebook where I tracked everything for 75 day hard. So I started on August 17th and I ended on September 8th. So I made it to 23 days, then life happened and I stopped the challenge. A little backstory on the 75 day hard challenge. It's a 75 day day program pretty much where you have five tasks that you have to complete every day. I have a whole video where I go super in depth about all the different tasks and what you have to do for them. But the basic premise, which I have right here on my first page of my journal is you have to follow a diet, no cheat meals, whatever your diet is. So you just stick to that diet. Two, you work out twice a day. Each workout has to be at least 45 minutes and one of your workouts has to be outside. <laughs> Number three, drink a gallon of water a day. Number four, read 10 pages of a book. They recommend that it's nonfiction. It's one of like an entrepreneurial self-help book and no audiobooks. Number five is you're taking a progress picture every day. Over these 75 days, you're becoming more disciplined. You are creating mental toughness. You're taking control of your days and then you can see your full transformation at the end. So yeah, I failed. I never talked about it. I was keeping everyone up to date on my Instagram stories each day. And then I just kind of didn't say anything. I just didn't know if I wanted to address it or talk about it because I was embarrassed and I was mad at myself. I really wanted to complete it and get it all done on the first try. And then because I failed once, I was almost nervous to start again. I was anxious about restarting and the potential of failing. And I think that potential of failing a second time scared me so much that I didn't commit to the full 75 days a second time. But what was funny was I was still taking part in the habits that I had created. I was still drinking a gallon of water a day. I was still working out at least once, maybe twice a day, going on daily walks. I was taking progress pictures still, but I wasn't actually committed to, okay, I'm doing the 75 day challenge because then once I felt like I said it in my head, I was stuck to it and had to do it. So I waited a little bit and now it is March 2nd and I am 47 days into my second 75 day hard challenge. So we restarted the program. I started on January 14th. I kind of kept it low key because I wanted to make sure that I could start the program again and get my shit together and just do it on my own before I sort of broadcasted my daily progress to the world. Um, but it's been nice to keep it to myself. I feel like I have a little less pressure and now that I've surpassed the point where I failed before and I'm almost two thirds done with the challenge. I'm feeling good. My routine is so set at this point. I'm just used to doing the things I do every day. I'm used to working out twice a day. I'm used to drinking a gallon a day. It doesn't even feel like I'm still doing the challenge at this point. It's just become daily habits that I do every day. And it's nice to have those because 
if I didn't have the challenge keeping me accountable on the back end, I probably, I might not work out twice a day. I might not end up reading those 10 pages of a book, but because I'm sticking to the challenge, I want to finish it. I am still doing what I need to do to accomplish my five daily tasks, but I'm, I'm pretty confident in myself that I will continue to do these different parts of the challenge even after I'm done. Like it's become a part of my daily routine. Working out, staying hydrated, these are things that make me feel better. My body feels better, I feel, I feel better mentally, I feel better physically, I am in such a better mood. I end up waking up earlier now because I need to get my workout done in the morning. So it's only having positive effects on me and I feel like I'm growing as a person. So I'm gonna keep doing it. But yeah, we're on day 47, what the heck? Actually, I think today is day 48. We're on day 48, so we're almost, we're, we're get into the home stretch here. I'm really proud of myself, but I just wanted to kind of make a video saying, like making failure okay, because it's okay to fail. I feel like if you don't have failures, the successes don't mean as much. I think the fact that I didn't succeed easily the first time just makes the second time around so much better and I'm so much more motivated and I'm just really enjoying it. 75 hard, it's going well. I really like it and we're gonna keep doing it. So I think I'm gonna make some future videos showing a day in my life on the 75 day hard challenge. I've been making a few TikToks related to 75 hard. So if you wanna follow me on TikTok, it is Kali Madden 5 and I'm excited for you to join me on the rest of my 75 hard journey as we <laughs> get to the end. So if you have any specific questions or videos that you wanna see around 75 hard, let me know. I'm happy to answer any questions. Again, I did make a full video explaining what the program is and kind of more in depth of within each of the five daily tasks that you have to do. If you wanna watch that video, again, link is in my bio. I also wanna share my top three tips for 75 hard and being successful with the challenge. So number one is plan ahead. When you're doing this challenge, life is still happening. You still have work, you still have different commitments, whether that's to friends or to family. You still have other stuff to do. At first glance, it can seem like a lot to get done in a day. Oh, I have to work out twice, one of them has to be outside, I have to drink an entire gallon of water, I have to read 10 pages of a book. There's just a lot happening, and you wanna make sure you have enough time to get it done. So I usually like to try to figure out, okay, what does tomorrow look like for me? I know that I have that networking event tomorrow night at six and I have to be on Zoom from six to 7.30. So I'm not gonna be able to work out at six like I usually do. So just being able to know what's in your schedule and what your commitments are and then sch schedule around the 75 hard. You also have to prioritize the 75 day hard. You have to prioritize what you need to do. If you need to get your workout done but you're still waking up at 8.15 and you start work at 8.30 and then you're working late and you don't end up having time to work out, it's on you, you have to take accountability for it. So rather than waking up at 8.15, maybe you need to wake up earlier to get one of those workouts in. It's just a balance of making sure you're planning ahead, you're understanding your other commitments that you have to take care of, but you're also making time and being accountable for what you need to get done in a given day so you can complete your tasks and be successful with the challenge. Number two is to think long term. This is a marathon, it's not a sprint. You don't wanna go too hard right out of the gate. If you're doing two hour long HIIT workouts and you're trying to eat super healthy and only like, <laughs> it's just gonna be too much. You're gonna get burnt out so quick. You're not gonna enjoy the challenge. It's gonna become stressful and anxiety provoking. Take it with ease. If you need to do a walk for your daily workout or you need to maybe, you don't wanna do a full HIIT workout or go on a run and you need to just stretch that day. Take time for yourself, listen to your body, listen to what your body needs. Also with food, it just says follow a diet. No cheat meals. I, I never want, like my goal is to never feel restricted in what I'm eating. I'm obviously, like I'm not going out and eating a bunch of candy or going to fast food drive throughs but I'm trying to be conscious and balanced about what I'm putting in my body. I'm all about balance. I'm all about 
eating and enjoying your food and having a healthy relationship with food. So if I decide to have some oatmeal with berries on top and I want to add a little bit of Nutella, I'm going to add a little bit of Nutella. It's not the end of the world. I'm not failing the challenge. I'm following my diet and eating healthy and having that balance in my diet. And my third tip would be do it for you. You're not doing this challenge for anyone else. You're not doing this to impress anyone or look better for anyone. It's not about losing weight. It's about having a better mental state, feeling better emotionally, mentally, physically. It's about taking control of your life. So you have to do it for yourself. You can't be doing it for anyone else. You have to choose to do this challenge for you. And then you'll enjoy doing it more. If you're getting up at 6 a.m. now, you're waking up a little bit earlier for a workout, yeah, it might be tough to get out of bed. I have such a hard time getting out of bed in the morning, but then I start doing that workout and I feel better. I'm doing it for me. I know that I'm doing it so I can become stronger and feel healthier and it feels good. Include your friends if you want. I end up doing a good amount of my workouts with friends. We either FaceTime or get on a Zoom call and do a workout together. So you're not alone. You can't be doing it for you, but you can also be a positive influence on your friends if you want to make a healthy dinner together or work out together. This is something that you could potentially inspire someone else to take part in the challenge. Enjoy what you're doing, do it for you, plan ahead, and just remember to think long-term. Marathon, not a sprint, you got this, and you can do it.